The BC-Alberta wine war is over for now. The battle that stirred a national debate over pipelines began in Fort McMurray, Alberta. It all started when one Italian restaurant decided to take a stand. But as David Thurton reports, the oil sands capital is now putting a cork on its protest. Karen Collins pours herself a glass of Alberta rhubarb wine. The owner of Asti Italiana Tattoria is putting an end to her spirited protests. This weekend she'll order for the first time this month some BC reds and whites. I will be lifting the ban. I always said all along if Premier Horgan changes his stance, I would also um, put BC wines back on my menu. My whole idea was to bring everybody to the table and get this settled. And this all comes after a trade dispute with BC over the province's plans to restrict increased bitumen shipments through the province. This week, BC backtracked and said it will seek clarity from the courts first. The Italian restaurant isn't the only one declaring victory. Some see this as a win for Alberta and Premier Rachel Notley. Yeah, she did the right thing, I think, and the ban's lifted, so if we're, we're going to be getting our oil, then I guess we're, I, I guess it's resolved. Yeah, she's improved in Fort McMurray quite a bit. A lot of people gained respect for her for standing up for them. People in Fort McMurray are big enough to understand that it's not about partisan politics, it's about our livelihoods. Although the party might see a boost in support in the region, many in Fort McMurray say it's not enough for them to vote NDP. David Thurton, CBC News, Fort McMurray. As many as 20 centimeters.